two half circles in a rectangle. This gives us this shaded region that we need to find the area of. Like we have right here, we have a side length of two and three. See how our two half circles are oriented? They touch right there. With just this information, can we find the area of the shaded region? Pause this video, see if you can come up with an answer. But as always, I'm gonna show you the steps on how to solve this problem. One of the first things I like to do is label some points here. So let's go here, A, B, C, and D. So we're all on the same page here. And let's go E, uh, what did I do? E and then F right here, okay? We have E, F, and A, B, C, D as the rectangle. We do not know what the length of each radius of these circles are. Now, these two circles are the same size, or two half circles the same. Together, make one full circle. So let's call that radius R, that distance here. And let's, it's the same for each one. Now, with that being said, I want to draw a point from E to F. Connecting E to F, it goes right through our point of tangency between the two circles. And that length, E, F, well, has a radius here and a radius here, or it's 2, R. So E, F equals a 2, R. Now from here, I'm going to drop a line straight down from F. Perfectly vertical, if I have the well, I'm going at the right angle here. Let's see how the measurement is. Let's put it right there. Boom, boom. Right angle down, drop a line straight down from F. Right here. And that's going to be a right angle. Now, what is the side length of, well, it's going to be point here. Let's call it G. What is the length of F G? Well, since A, B, C, D is a rectangle, we got a right angle here. We have another rectangle on the inside. That's how we drew it. F, G is gonna be the same length as D, A, which is two. And I hope you see where we're going from this. If F, G has a length of two, E, F has length of two R, I wanna find the length of E, G. How do I find the length of E, G? Well, G, B also has a length of R from up here. That's our length of our radius, okay, of the circle. So GB equals an R. AB equals, well, three, right? AB equals a three. And so if we find the length of just EG, that's gonna be the length of, so EG equals the length of three minus two of these R's, and we're just gonna find that length right here, minus a two R. And now we have enough for the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals, here from the back, C squared. So two squared plus a three minus two R, all squared equals our hypotenuse two R squared. And now we're gonna, well, simplify this. Two squared is a four. Three squared is a nine minus, three times minus two R is a six minus six R, two of those minus 12 R. Uh, and then add a two R, negative two R squared, it's positive four R squared. And then two R squared is a four R squared. Our R squareds cancel, which is always lovely when that happens and four and nine make a uh, good old 13 minus a 12 r equals zero bring the 12 r over 13 equals a 12 r divide by 12 and r equals a 13 over 12 let's keep it as a fraction for now so now we have the radius of each circle and now it's a pretty simple problem to find the area of the shaded region, right, the area of our shaded region is equal to the area of the rectangle minus the area of two half circles, which equal one whole circle, same size, area of the circle, okay? So the area of our shaded region is equal to the area of the rectangle, which is, well, two times three. 
length times width, not too bad. The area of the circle, each half circle makes one full circle, is pi r 13 over 12 squared. Simplify that. Area of the shaded region is 6 minus 13 squared. Oh, what is it? I put that in here. 169 over 12 squared is 144 pi units squared. At this point, I'll use my calculator here, and that's approximately a 2.31299 units squared. And that's it. The area of our shaded region in green here was 6 minus 169 over 144 pi units squared, or the approximation 2.31299 units squared. Well, I hope you learned something from this geometry problem, and I hope you got the answer and at least understand it. If you did, way to go. Don't forget to subscribe here and like the video. As always, though, thanks for watching.